time with the light change here, folks. <laughs> He's going with the last minute light change. <laughs> <laughs> Hi guys, um, welcome to the Golf Chat Show Live. Today I'm joined with Ewan Ferguson and Connor Syme, European tour players, stars of the future, great results so far in their careers. Welcome to the show, guys. Cheers, Cheers Alex. Alex. I mean, Alex, as soon as you spell my name wrong on Instagram, we're going to spell you <laughs> Alex from now on. No, to be fair, I've got an excuse there. I sent that into your boys and I didn't get anything back and I thought, I looked Oh, really? Internet. Yeah. So you... Mac, Mac, I said it was your fault as well. I need to have a word with him. <laughs> to be fair, it is my fault. And then I got the time wrong. <laughs> so we'll, we'll, at least we've actually got all there at the right time. Yeah, yeah. We're all, we're, well, I'm surprised Connor's not late to the fair. He always is. On but, time and ready, baby. On time oh, and ready. Love it. love it. Right, boys. Right. We know it's Masters Week. And um, unfortunately, we're just watching Masters reruns. What is your favourite Masters moment? We'll start with you, Ewan. Uh, Don't say it. Don't say <laughs> it. <laughs> Tiger chipped in at the back. <laughs> no, honestly, like probably would be stuff like that. But I'm gonna have to go with uh, just last year. It was just too good to watch it. Like you're actually thinking that can't be real. It can't be real. But it just sinks in it more every day. So it's that's unbelievable. So I, you have to have to go with last year. I know it's probably everyone will say that, but it is just too cool, isn't it? Too good yeah, to be true. It was a weird one. I was I was watching it. And Tiger of the past, you were like, oh, if he's ahead, he's won. And I'm still like behind the sofa thinking, he might mess up here. He might yeah, it. me too. Or he yeah. might hang it off to the left. I know. And then he, it was just so, watching it, just couldn't believe, like, no way is he just about to win this. Even his, like, his putt, even his, his first putt on the last, just yeah, like yeah. still trying to hold it and everything, like still proper gave it a go. He's took, that's so cool, isn't it? Connor, Connor? what's uh, I would say, um, Tiger's chip, it, chip in. Was it oh, you six? No, I just went ahead and said it. Oh, six. No, <laughs> you just said <laughs> that's what I was gonna that's no, what I was good. That's what I was gonna give stick for you and for saying, but no, I actually no, think I just went ahead that, and said that. That shot is just that that's what made me like part of it fall in love with golf, definitely. That shot. hundred percent I can't believe you yeah. just got for that after you're giving him stick for saying it. We're nearly saying it. I know. <laughs> he's, he's not just went ahead. <laughs> well, someone was going to say it, and I thought I might as well take it out of the game. But I thought um, you were going to go. I thought you were going to go with Sandy Lyle's bunker shot on the last. Oh, it was a toss up. It was a toss up. It was a toss up. Oh, stop it! No, Patrick Green's win for me, hundred percent. Really? Patrick That's Green, yeah, Pat- oh, Definitely not. <laughs> no, no. I'm being serious. Tiger, Tiger Woods is chipping. That was actually as much as it's the most. Straight up and down the line, one hundred percent. That's why I love. That's starting to think when I was like getting into the goal. I love golf. He nearly definitely was going to say. It's true, boys. It's true. It's true. Oh, Connor, I'm here. I'm here. I set right, okay. my alarm. I set my alarm for seven o'clock. Just ready to gun for Connor. <laughs> no, I'm real. I'm joking. Oh, real. Real. No mercy. No mercy. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Right, boys. Um, I sent you 15 questions before we went live. Um, we're going to go through them. Um, you guys, just to paint a picture, you guys room together week in, week out, um, good friends, a um, bit of banter between you all the time. How much time do you actually spend with each other during a tournament on the golf course? On practice rounds together, is it? Practicing together? Every second of the tournament. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dinner, just us usually in the room. Just us. Practice rounds is just us. Sometimes it depends on you. It depends on you and mood, to be fair. All this is very much you independent because I'm like chilled out down for it all and you both like, get him on one day. If, if, oh boy, if he needs a nap, there's no way you're talking to him. Um, most of it is based around his sleep and then if you get sick of me and he needs to have a practice round with his music on, that's pretty much it. So true. So true. Sometimes, I've, uh, sometimes I'm, he's a bit much because like... Yeah, just too like oh my god, like another day with him. So we go through quite, we go through phases of annoying each other so much. Yeah, yeah. like it's, sometimes uh, it's like all him annoying me, and sometimes it's all me annoying him, and it's just like and then sometimes I steal stuff from him, like 
like bars in the room or juice that he has and stuff. And he hates the but when he and steals then, like, my bars, it's the most annoying thing ever, man. And he hates, uh, I, and then, I hide them. I have to hide them in different parts of my, my golf bags and stuff. And he, like my travel covers, like underneath clothes, doesn't matter to him. Oh no, 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 no boundaries. <laughs> what, if I walk in the safe, that will be opened and they will be found and eaten. And it, in China, in China, just at the end of last year there. Um, he thought we we appeared together in a two ball, so it was just me and him. And um, I went <laughs> yeah. up. And, <laughs> no, that was nice. And I said, "There you go. There's a bar, and you want to yeah, him." He was him. nice, and he was like, "Here's a bar. I'll give you one." And I was like, "Sorry, I've got some in my bag anyway." Did <laughs> 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 oh, you boys people. know each other before you got your European tour cards? Yeah, since we're, I've known Connor since I was about since we're about thirteen, fourteen. I was yeah. about thirteen. Oh, he was about fourteen. Yeah. yeah. So, 10 years or something. Cool. Okay, guys, right. We're getting straight into the first question. Number one on our list. Who is the longest driver of the golf course? Me. Fuff. Controversial. Eh? No, I, I, I I'll, I'll be honest, though. I think we're very similar distance-wise. But... I feel like I had. He's, he's probably got about three yards on me, but last time I played yeah. with him, I was hitting it by him. So I don't know what else you want me to say. No, I, the last thing you played me with, last thing you played me with in the practice rounds, I was just like. But I forgot my ball had like second wind over the top of his golf balls. It was a joke. <laughs> second wind. <laughs> he, he was trying, he was trying this driver, this driver. No. Like, <laughs> he by me? He I just got, by I just got the new driver from TaylorMade, and now I've got the sim. Now I've got the TaylorMade sim driver in the bag. It's, it's got like three wins in it. It's just like. Poof. <laughs> That's a comedy. Show. So it's like, um, it's back to me again. But we are very similar distance wise. But I, I really, we're that we're very similar. But I think he's. I think, see, I'm a bit longer, I think I'm a bit longer with the driver, but he's longer with the irons. See when we if we in practice rounds, it, it's actually hilarious. I, I, I'd is, say uh, you can you like, can see we you both hit good up. ones and the balls would be we're both pretty straight, so it would be hilarious like when we're playing and it would just like, right next to each other quite a lot of the time. It's so true as well. It's not even like sometimes he's like a yard ahead and we're like that, nah, yes, I'm the big, big and then like he's a yard ahead and it's actually like gets to you. <laughs> sometimes it does, by the way. And then we start trying but see when, <laughs> when I try and when I try and mash it, I start I'm not as good at well, you can. I think when you try and hit it hard, you still find the middle quite, quite, straight, yeah. quite well. So oh, yeah. it's quite similar. Let's, so going similar. No one's gonna give each other. Ah, he can have it. I, I don't mind. Yeah, I, I, you and you have it, bro. You you be the longest driver. It's all about that for you. I mean, that no, is, do you know uh, what? Do you know what? Now nah, you have I'll it, mate. I'll take it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we go from driving to who's the Hoover on the green? Who's the best putter? Connor's an absolute hoover in the greens. <laughs> I'm taking that one. I'm taking that one. Hundred percent. Like I'm, I'm, I'm a good putter, and I putt well, five feet and stuff, and no problem. Hole out very well, but he holds forty footers, and like it's not a surprise. Like <laughs> all the time, you just that like, wasn't right, that so. in Portugal when we played with each other, but it was that like, the other way around. <laughs> 10 feet for you was like hole was normal size outside 40 feet all of a sudden hole hole was this big, <laughs> I, was, was I, that was, big? I was i was i was inspired by you like that night before i was looking at you in bed going i'm going hold long putts i'm going hold long putts <laughs> <laughs> oh my days must have been the but bars no, you, well, it must have been, must have been on some of the bars still but no I, in the grand scheme of things he holds long putts and and also like if there is a putt on the last or something that you need to like hold you're very good. You always give it a chance because, like, even when we play against each other, little practice games <laughs> and stuff, and we, sometimes he's got like a ten footer to like for a half or to win by one, or we play for a bit of money or a little bit of money or something. It's hey, you, like, pay, you pay, you pay, you pay up though. Huh? You, you'd pay up though. I feel like there's a bit of a story here about this. No, well, <laughs> I feel, I feel. You, uh, Oh, yeah. Well, when saying the unit is, if I, I'm going to see he's probably played money games with people all across the world, and I'm going to go and he's he's he's, he's probably never paid out, but even though he might have lost, he's never paid out. Yeah. But to be fair, to be fair, I took you down. Me and my, in fact, me and even Bold Lubo took you down in St Andrews the, uh, last few months ago, and we still bit, bought the lunch, which was amazing. No, I bought the lunch actually. No, like we a, we in fact invited us to his course. And we paid on. We paid. We went on and paid on. He didn't even uh, remember that one. Oh, well, you, mate. I think that's been totally taken out of context. I would have treated you to that game, but you arrived earlier than me. Shock. And, we did. We, uh, we were there. We were there. Shock. Yeah, you yeah. were late again. Shock. <laughs> you were late again. 
No, I fashionably know, late. Fashionably late. It's, it's okay. because it's because you know why I don't really pay. It's because like I just I just like them. They think like they know I'm good for it. Like I'll, I will pay them it, but then if maybe they forget, then good for me, no. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but then Connor Connor sends his girlfriend in on me. <laughs> I start getting like hate mail on Instagram. Um, you owe Connor two hundred and something pounds for half of the hotel. From <laughs> I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, that is actually true, true by the way. You have been paying a bill for as long as possible. It's true. And then, like, those legal battles with sex, you know what I mean? It's all this yeah, stuff. Yeah, these battles with car rental companies and all sorts <laughs> of stuff. <laughs> we're good, we're good. We sort it out at the end of the day. Yeah, I always get, I mean, it always it balances itself out, doesn't it? 100%. 100%. So, if you get a rental car, who drives it? We do a week each. Yeah, but. Basically, because it was challenged there last year, and then you and knew all the courses, so he tactfully picked them all out. It was week on, week off. So he, he did one week. I'd get the car, and it, it'd be like a two-hour drive across these mountains, mate. Like this, and I had to drive all so that. True. And then you and would have a we would get there, and it'd be a five-minute jaunt down the road. And I'm like, how is this balance? How is this fair? It was a joke. But it it was, he did he did do the hard ones, but he has a better. He's got he's a better driver than he concentrates more on. His, I like to like. You're the mu- you're the music producer. I'm the DJ. I'm the DJ. I'm the DJ. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like if you were driving you and you'd get there a lot quicker than Connor. I don't mean that horribly, but yeah. I just feel like you'd be like hell to leather here. Hundred percent. You just uh, you know it's, it already. It's you know it's already. Oh, was it the way around? Nah, 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 nah. He, uh, <laughs> mate, you're just driving horrendous, but we'll not go into that. <laughs> we're not. We're not going to that. No, I've never actually done it wrong, but but one time I did. One time he was like, right, I've been driving so much. It was his week. Can you drive back? And I was like, right, cool. All of a sudden, <laughs> on the motorway in the car, just like started veering everywhere. We're like, what the heck? Pulled over at the side of the roads. Our, electri- our tire was... Blown up. Wasn't, wasn't, it, wasn't even a, it wasn't blown up. It wasn't even a tire anymore. It was like... just Disintegrated. 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 Yeah. Disintegrated like little, it was roast and hot. There was smoke and everything. So... Hell to leather, like you said. <laughs> hell, to, hell to leather, like you said. <laughs> okay, it's one one. Uh, who is the strongest in the gym? Corner. Yeah, me. Uh, yeah, you didn't just you didn't just start in the gym, so we no. I, I go through phases. I go through phases like where I'll get into it, then I stop for a bit. I get into it, stop for a bit. Uh, we don't need but, to um, go into it. This isn't this isn't a long conversation. This one. We had a competition. I took you down on that. Move on. I'm the Sorry, we, we, had, we, did, we had a competition. It's on moving, the, on. Yeah, moving, moving on. on. Moving on. Moving on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, number four on our list. Who's the best on FIFA? No point in answering this one. Moving on. <laughs> it's another one for season. Yeah, but we hear this. But wait to hear this, right? He is the best at FIFA, right? But we're in China. Um, and we brought the... Because sometimes we bring the... We bring the Xbox. Well, Connor brings the Xbox. And we play Xbox. He he plays it all the time. Me, I never play it right. I never play. Um, and I never play the Xbox at all. So um, never play nice it. Room, man. Yeah, nice living room, pal. Never play that Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, and I, we, I was thinking about all the full round. Couldn't wait to get back to play them. And I did beat you three times in a row one time. True or not? Three times in a row, mate? Who's the yeah, I remember. I beat, you the night, I beat you the night before, oh, yeah. came home, and I beat you two times. i never forget it. I know it's three because I remember. Uh, that, that, did, that, that, that was a bizarre bit of moment <laughs> of my life, actually. It was I, so I never... bizarre because he beats me, like, big, like, 7-2 and stuff. And then, like, sometimes he goes, like, Livingston, and I'll go, like, Barcelona, and he still wins. <laughs> um, but I did beat him three times in a row one time. So. Yeah, because I was yeah. going, I was going these bad teams, and I was like, "Oh, you're actually getting a bit better." And then I went, "Good team, good team," and he put me two times in a row, and I, I, I was an all-time low for me. I think I missed the cut that week, <laughs> and I kept on, and I was like, "I am done, I am done." I've it's got true. actually a, a question related to FIFA. Uh, someone's commented, um, "Who's the loudest on FIFA?" And I'm guessing this is probably coming from China. <laughs> that's, that's definitely no. That that's definitely come from. That's came from Tom Murray or something, hasn't it? Yeah, it's come from. Oh my days, <laughs> that is so funny. Yeah, that was. Uh, I was actually going to bring that story up when we were talking about it. Right, tell me the story now. That came from Kenya last year, Kenya Open, and um, 
we were playing me, Connor, and Jackson and Brad were playing like competitions, winner stays on. And um it was it was getting pretty really heated, it's like last minute penalties and we're going crazy. And then all of a sudden from nowhere, boom, 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 three loud, loud bangs. No, loud no, bangs. no, 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 right, but wait, no, because that game was a joke, this one. And yeah. I remember it better because I was what I, I was not on this one, but I think Jackson Brar scored to make it like one one. Or something. Did you win that so, game, you both? No, he 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 scored me like one one the 89th minute. And then you scored, and then he scored up the other end of And the then score. he scored another one. And then I had a penalty on like the last one. Oh yeah, you didn't then, know how to take them, yeah. mate. We didn't know, we didn't, how, to we didn't know how to take them. We didn't know how to take them at that time. We were like, how do you take penalties? And I was like, so I just thought I'll just press it. Anyway, it was like sent sent. It was like how hard you pressed it and, and how hard the ball hat went, how high the ball went. I was already absolutely bar. like, I was crying with laughter because I knew you and didn't know how to take him. He's like, yeah. please help me, help me. As this thing just trickles one yeah. down. And then, uh, <laughs> and it was like 10 o'clock. It was like half 10 or something. And Tom was teeing off at like seven the next morning. Sorry about that, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> and no, we got like, no, this time you waking up, Tom, was because, wasn't because of FIFA. It's because I'm like, we were, this was about 11 o'clock at night. And then Ewan's like, <laughs> Ewan's just starts chipping these balls out of my bed, and I'm like, you boys, you're going to have to stop that. And, and this thing, he's like, nah, I won't knife it. As this thing comes flying across the room, pops off the, uh, off the, because I was like, in our, the doors were like, in our, between the rooms. Yeah, yeah. Rattles off Tom's door, we're like, shit, I think we got away with that. Yeah. Bang, 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 on the, oh my days, I'm like. And then, and then on the Sunday, on the Sunday, I was playing with, um, no, I seen, I, I didn't, I wanted to know who it was, so the next morning I got up, I went and asked the reception, who's in the room? This room next door, oh, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Tom Murray. I was like, oh no! And then on the because <laughs> we're so under, scared to leave the room. Yeah, we were so scared to leave the room. <laughs> see, him, see him the next morning on the bus. We were like, no, hey, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we we were like testing if Tom liked you anymore. Yeah, like, we're, we're testing like, if you still like him. Hi. And he was being dead shady with you. He was like looking <laughs> this way and all that. Like. <laughs> he was being so shady with you, like looking out. He was like, all right. So I was like, oh, like, that but he was still that saying that hi to me, mate. And all that. <laughs> I was like, that shit sink. That shit sink. Abort, abort. <laughs> oh, so good. Yeah, so good. So funny. And then we started getting like, then we started getting like voice notes sent. And we're like, what's this? And it was like Matt Nixon. He was getting sent to, to us because um, Tom sent, he was videoing how loud we were. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, this is the FIFA. <laughs> FIFA. That was funny. Brilliant, brilliant. Yeah. Okay, number one. five. Who's got the best short game out of you two? Uh, Bits and Bob's. I think. I don't know. Bits and Bob's. Sometimes um, I think he's good at a lot of shots that maybe I'm not as good at, and then some shots. Yeah. It's a tough one to say. Like I feel like my bunker play and stuff sometimes really good. Your bunker play is amazing, and I think yeah. I'm, I, I've got the clipper off the tough just a tiny bit better. Mm-hmm. I think he's got, he's got some shots that I'm, I'm maybe not as good at, and then I'm we maybe both good, good at short games. We both, yeah, both, pretty, short games. both pretty tight. Yeah. Couldn't go about and just be like, oh, this or that. But, but you knifed yeah. it across the room, though, you and yeah? That was off. Oh, yeah, that, that didn't happen, Matt. That that was nice, off. Knives in room one, t- one nil. That's, so, <laughs> on, Matt. that, that's every hotel room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I know. That, I, that, if, we're, if we're going on chipping ho- on hotel rooms, I'm definitely got that. I nip off that carpet. He, he, he does nip. We chip, we chip in hotel room a lot, and he he does hit some really really good ones. But then you know what's funny? Like, see if you start not getting it quite right on the like, oh, it could be a on. tile. It could be a tile you're chipping off, or just concrete, and it, all of a sudden it's like in your head you're like I'm not striking it great, and you, you're there for ages trying to get it started before, yeah. you, before you wake up for the next day tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, but yeah, pretty similar short games to see. Both pretty tidy at different parts. So, number six on our list, who's the biggest practiser? Um, don't really know. We're both practice quite a lot. I do know that I did teach Connor how to practice. What um, is that, chat? Remember. <laughs> and, oh, yeah. Um, to, to, yeah, to be fair, um, when I was younger, I was not. I was what like to play on the course, and we used to. We're out, out in Dubai with the Scottish team, and like South Africa, yeah. and like Abu Dhabi for months practicing. And I'd be like just there, just ready, like music and like ready for the day ahead, like practicing for like three, four hours. And he'd yeah. always be coming over to me like, "Do I go and play in the par three course? Play a wee game? Do I go and play a typical? Do I go and do this?" And I was like, "Grow up! I'm grafting, mate." You know. Yeah, and then that. all of a sudden, but he he has like he has. He is a he is a grafter, but I say I am too. But 
I think, yeah, uh, yeah, as 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 we've got older, I think we've, we've just kind of eked it out. I don't know if there's anybody. Mm. Um, practice rounds. Eh, we do the same sort of stuff. Like, we're not, we do, I, I think yeah. we're very, like, we don't want to overdo it before tournaments and stuff like that. And then when we're away from the, the tournaments as well, like, it's just, we just do a similar routine. But that's probably because mm. I copied this routine when we were younger. So I'm kind of stuck with it. Yeah, I mean, see what I mean? That's... So what does a normal week look like? Do you arrive on a Monday, Tuesday? What does a normal week look like for you boys? Um, depends to, be fair, the... to be fair, I'm probably a bigger practice. I've just realised because I'm a Monday guy, he's a Tuesday guy. No, no, so... it depends where depends where we are. Like if we're going from depends if we're going from somewhere to somewhere. Um like it can change. But if for example, if you've played a few weeks in a row, like sometimes it just changes because sometimes I feel like I need to play if I need to get more points up on the rank on the ranking or whatever. And maybe I'll. It's too far to come home for a wee day, but sometimes it's nice to come home for a little day if you can do do your washing, see your family again, and stuff. But obviously, you can't do that if you're going from like far play Australia to South Africa or somewhere to somewhere. So, um, it changes it. it ideally, I'd I would love to be there on a Monday, kind of two o'clock every week. It's quite nice. But then sometimes in a little, sometimes a little Tuesday morning is quite nice as well. But it just changes. It depends how you're feeling. Depends how much you've been playing and stuff. So you, you pretty much vary that. If you say if you didn't do a Monday, you get your caddy to get there first. Get your caddy to go and walk the course, and then you. Yeah, caddy's always there. Just kind of what, uh, just tell, just text him. So he can do this. He takes a lot of pictures of the tee shots and stuff for me. Uh, some shots, maybe if I played the course last year, I didn't like. He'll be like, "Remember you did this last year?" And I'll be like, "Oh yeah, I don't want to do that again." And stuff. So kind of change, but I, I I always need to practice round before a tournament. I never like to. Tee it up. A few guys do, like that have been on the tour for a while, like to just go and peg it up and no practice and stuff. And I'm just like, don't yeah, think I can do that. So walk it, don't they? Some boys literally just walk some guys it. just walk it. Yeah, I, I, even me. Like I got, I remember getting into like Portugal Masters, like 2016 or no, 2017, and last minute I got in like the Wednesday and I flew there and walked the course with a wedge, chipped a few balls and. Just didn't you just don't get the same feel, you know? No, you, you feel so underprepared, underprepared, don't you? You just feel you don't feel ready for the next day. You're just like, if I earned the right to kind of play, even yeah. though I got in the Wednesday, there's nothing else I could do, you know. I remember I was at another tournament, flew there for that one, and then, but um, no, it just just changes. Don't really know. It's Monday, Tuesday, good time to get there. Okay, next question on our list: Who treats their caddy the best? <laughs> 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 me by a mile <laughs> yeah he treats his caddy the best to his face by a mile <laughs> no, I do. honestly <laughs> that, yeah, it's the wrong bear. no I face to face me by a country mile but behind his back oh boy at least I do the talking <laughs> to his face Less half a Timbo. day off listen Timbo this has got to be can't be going on your phone can't be like alright you both I'll get that away and I'm like some uh, corners like that to me he can't go on his phone there. Can you believe that? And I'm like, at least I, yeah, my guy's been told. My guy's been told, you know, so I don't know how it comes across. But no, definitely no. me. There's no point in getting that again. No point in getting into this. He, when, I hit a bad, when I hit a bad shot and I feel like, or if he's picked the club or something, it's like short. And I'm just like, even if I know I've missed struck a wee bit, I'm just like, you. <laughs> <laughs> but um, no, I think probably Connor does in the grand scheme of things. Yeah, well, we're not, we're not going to this too far. He has got me by by saying someone is behind the back. But if, if we had to go down this road, I would win. So it's it's. No, he does. <laughs> he does. He does treat. He does treat his caddy a wee bit better. You know, I treat my caddies too too much like a friend. Ewan says as well. Oh. That's like, <laughs> all my caddies well, are my, are best friends, pretty much. Uh, Connor ends up being like best best mates with his caddy. So, so do you, no, he, in fact, now, now that I've thought about it, he definitely treats his caddies better. <laughs> Have you boys used caddies uh, from home or guys that have been out on tour for a while? What, what's kind of yourself? Mines is a guy from uh, Holland. He's Dutch. He's been caddying for about 10 years he's, and he used to caddy at St Andrews actually. But I met him at a tournament in Czech Republic. I went, I had no caddy that week and I picked him up there. And uh, we played quite well. I've had him for a couple of years now. So and now he's, he's like a girlfriend you can't get rid of. He's like, bye. <laughs> Hello again, bye. Hello again, bye. <laughs> I'm like Tim. At the time we met him do a little break. And then after it's I'm like, like it's like his first love me. that he can't. He like he thinks he can do without him, and then like he'll go without him for like a couple of weeks, and it's like I need you back, bro. I need you back, and then <laughs> and then it'll go away for a while, and then it'll come back. Again. <laughs> that is actually true. Sometimes, sometimes I'm like, 
he's brutal. And then, then when, as soon as I don't have him, I'm like, where is he? <laughs> yeah, so because he, he does know your game so well, doesn't he? He does, and he, and you know what I like about him? He's very uh, loyal, and he, he's he works hard, and he's he does like he tries to help me like in little ways that maybe I think some other people wouldn't, so other caddies yeah. wouldn't. So yeah. happy with that. Connor, your caddy. I've got a caddy from England. He's from, and I've had him for about a year now, probably. Um, so I had a guy from European Tour last time, and then when I went back to Challenge Tour, I didn't start with a caddy, and then I, um, I got hooked up with Lyle through my management company. Um, he put me in touch with him, and then we've been together for about a year. This has been good, but he's about similar age to me, so I kind of it's like difficult because. When I, when I had my caddy before uh, Tim, he was doing amateur stuff with me, and then we went on to yeah. like straight from amateur golf to the European Tour, and then I lost my card after a year, and I was like, "All right, okay, I'm gonna just do my own thing." I didn't really know what challenge to. Obviously, you don't have to have a caddy. Um, and then I, I won the first tournament la um, at the beginning of last year on the challenge tour with no caddy. I'm like, "Oh, this is easy." And then you get to like Bruno mm -hmm. uh, or Bruno the next couple of weeks, and I'm like carrying that my clubs up this massive hill, pouring rain, and it was like. You don't, I think I got away with it the first week because it was perfect weather, the full week trolley, yeah. easy. And then you, I think over the next few weeks, I realised how important having a caddy was and how important like, having a good caddy is. Um, so, uh, yeah, that's, that's, I went back and I, I got somebody similar age to me, which has, been, which has been good, like a bit more, I don't know, just worked bit out well. A bit yeah. more in common. Did you boys get the numbers yourself or did you get your caddy just do it and you just pull the club? How does it work? We use Trackman. I've both got a Trackman, so we both use Trackman a lot, and both Caddy uses it. Both use it together, same as Connor, and then we can yeah. work it out from that. So, yeah. I, we, me and my Caddy, both, and we, me and my Caddy, both carry a book. I think you will. You've started doing both books now. You, you don't need to just do. He not used to do it just for you on the course, like garbage books. Uh, no, I've always carried the book, but he used to do um, pretty much everything. I just used to look at it sometimes. Yeah. Um, but now I'm I'm more into like get looking at my own book and trying to do some stuff for myself. But uh, it does get quite tired if you if you're playing like your fourth week in a row or something like that. And it's good to have a caddy there that can kind of know know also. You know if you're feeling a bit fatigued or something, saves you a few shots. I think. Okay, uh, number eight on our list. Who fancies himself as the funniest? Alex, you can answer that. Neck and neck, really, isn't it? <laughs> it is actually. <laughs> Yeah. Yoon's, Yoon's the funniest. Like he's more, he's more um, outgoing than me. I would have said. Like he's, he's like he would rip into anyone. Doesn't matter. He's ruthless, <laughs> ruthless savage. Ruthless That's savage. true. He, like, I would say, I would honestly say, um, Connor's. I would say Connor's uh, funnier than me when it's just me and him. Like he, he honestly howling, laughing, <laughs> or, or people that you're really, really close with. To see like. Like other people on tour that you might not be as close with, like some of the English guys or like like Jack Senior and like Max Oren and these kind of other people. Like I'll I'll just like take them down. Corner will just be more reserved, you know, and be like, "Hi guys," and I'll just be like, attack, 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 you know. Just like that. <laughs> uh, it's true. You'll be like, "Yeah, guys, yeah, how's it going? The practice going?" And I'll just be like, "Boom, boom, boom, gunning for them." So me and in, in general, but Connor is, gets me. <laughs> Really gets me going when it's in the room and stuff. <laughs> in the Montfields, baby. In the Montfields. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. Pretty neck neck. But I say me. I've got it overall. Okay, number nine on our list. Um, picture this. Sunday, um, just about to go in the final round. You're both in the final group. Who's the most vain when getting ready for a tournament round? <laughs> me by a mile. <laughs> me by a mile. Honestly. <laughs> Five outfits on the night before. <laughs> what, what are you? No, no, wait, not... did you say night before? Oh, hey. What oh, I try, you? I try on all my you, outfits. You and what do you think? This hat, this hat, or other hat? <laughs> no, we can't, we can't wear this hat. And I'm like, Connor, it's not that big of a deal. Like, and it? he's got his Bose headphones on right over, and I'm, yeah. and I'm going, and I'm like, you and, he's actually like, like you and you and this one must be like, and he like zips up and down and stuff. Now, this top's like the wrong shade of blue, and I'm like, wow, wow. Amazing. He throws Amazing. it on the night, and you throw it on the next day. That's, I throw it on the next day and just just roll with it. Just roll yeah. with it. You know? I can't he believe. Just goes it. With it. I'm still getting over the fact that you try it on the night before. Oh, I got three, I've got three, three, times, three, four times. It's not I've a joke. It's like, <laughs> and, on, and you know, one time, like in fact, start of this year, SA Open. Uh, 
our manager, Maka, came to our room with a, a portable iron. We started ironing his clothes for him and stuff. Chris is out there. I'm like, what is going whoa, on? Whoa, whoa, whoa. You got someone to iron your clothes with? Maka came and was like, <laughs> this you know No, to be fair, Maka had this steamer. <laughs> he brought a steamer with him and was like, hanging clothes up. To be fair, wow. he was trying to sell it to us. I thought he was maybe like part ownership in the steamer company. And so he's, he's, <laughs> so he's, he's brought it down. And, and we are waiting for this grand reveal, aren't we, you boy, like, of this steaming thing. So he's got so my shirt. He's like, give us the most creased one out of there. Give us the most creased one. <laughs> and he's at it for ages. And this thing's like, I'm, I swear it's got, more, it's got more creases by the end. Right? <laughs> and I'm like, We've been going to dinner, right? And he's going on and on about this steamer. And like another guy that works for our management company, Danny Wardrop, into these steamers as well. So he's like <laughs> talking and going on about the steamers and like iron clothes and stuff. And I'm like, all right, Mac is going on and on about how like pick any top, I'll get the creases out. And I, I think he was a bit bluffed at the end when he was like, why are they creases? <laughs> so safe to say we've not bought a steamer since. So we just dropped what we've got. I think, I think, I think Mac's company's, yeah, it's gone under. <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, Marka, hopefully that steam is working a bit better now. Yeah, hopefully, hopefully. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, but he did steam my clothes. Who fancies himself as the best dressed on the golf course? Me, but like my effort and commitment there. Like, I, I, yes. I, yeah, 10 out of 10 Ewan, commitment Ewan there. used to, I, I used to give him, like, give it a wee while. I've got these, all these photos logged on my phone of just his, like, terrible outfits. So, basically, I'd be like, he, he tells me I put him off because his trademark used to be, like, chucking in, like, Random coloured shoes, which is, I look back like, it's see, actually not bad, but all my stuff. Is, like, see me, right? I like to like, he likes his stuff, like, see if it's blue and blue. He likes all the different, same shades of thing. Me, for example, I like to like, a bit of red in there, a wee bit of orange, a wee bit of mix up, you know? So he does think him like a lot because everything is matches literally perfectly. But yeah, me, not like, like a navy, like the Adidas. I've got to say, I'm more on or... Connor's front air. I'm more on Connor's front air. I won't be, th- I won't be throwing in a random pair of orange or red. But, uh, yeah, I I've, I've, does, I've, does. um, I've, I do. Well, I've stopped that. Apparently, I stopped that. You, I, I, I stopped that happening. He does. I've got a few. No, nah, he did stop some things, but I still like to. I'm talking about like when I red or something. I'm talking about like shoes, like not red shoes, but like you know, just like a different wee bit of wee bit of wee bit of bling, you know. I've seen you in full red shoes, bro. <laughs> Not full red. That's Benjamin Polk you're thinking about. <laughs> Polky, Polky. Polky, Polky. You're watching Polky. You're watching Polky. You're watching Polky. You're watching Polky. Number 11 on our list. Um, after a bad round, who's the biggest diva when you get back to the hotel? Connor. Yeah, surprisingly, yeah, like I actually asked my girlfriend this the other day because I thought it would be Ewan, but it's not. Ewan's actually Certainly really good not. at just going like and just after the round, you both could, it doesn't matter, really matter what he shot, he still kind of acts the same. I do. So I, I mean, even even if I have, to, I have to put it on, you know, like I'm very good at putting a front on, especially when, obviously me and Connor are really good friends. So when we're going back, you don't want to bring him down. Don't want to, you know, even though if I'm still hurting inside or something. So we just keep each other yeah. going, even though. So he, I, think you, I think you actually helped me with that, to be fair, because like yeah. from like the year before, probably or something, um, and we both didn't miss many cuts on Challenge Tour, but I think like if we were both, well, you're really good at it, and like even I think from the first event, like you missed the cut by one shot, and it was like brutal because like you'd murdered the last. Yeah, the cut was five under, and yeah, I was four and, under, but it was like you thought four under was going to be cruising. And I think and it, was like, 60, it was like one place, wasn't it? One yeah, place, yeah, sixty first, sixty first. Yeah. And honestly, I was so impressed with the way he was just like, because I'd be like spitting like i'd be raging like i'd be so i'd be gutted for like a couple of days he's just like chilled and then from then on like i tried to get better not that i'm well thankfully didn't miss many cuts but he did uh he definitely is the best at that to be fair to you bro yeah i'm good i'm good at it just like trying to put a face on but um underneath it's uh it's oh, all fire oh i take it out on take it out on my brother and my dad i'm texting them saying, <laughs> see if i do this again I... <laughs> but then connor asked me so what are you up to? Oh yeah, I'm just you know, just chilling, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so, it gets pretty. But we do. We're just trying to try, try and put a front on as well. You don't want him to look like a brat as well, you know. No. So. Yeah. Who's the biggest diva on the course then? If, who's, what? Who's the biggest diva on the course? You and you and. Oh, me hundred percent. Yeah. I'm a diva. Swearing. What is it? What are we on? What are we up to? Oh, anything you want. Anything you, you name want. it, I've done it. Anything you want. You name it, I've done it. No, no, I, I think I see the problem with me. He, he keeps himself very 
flatlined the full way. I'm actually trying to get a bit more like that, a um, bit more like flatlined, but sometimes I can go a bit up and down just with, you know, going over the back of the green into the water or something like that. I mean, it gets you going. You can get Yeah, that would, that certainly would, wouldn't it? <laughs> but no, I think um, I'm definitely more diva on the golf course. Number 12 on our list. Who's the biggest golf geek? So we're talking like stats, numbers, track man numbers. Who's the biggest golf geek? Um, let's see for golf trivia, Ewan is an absolute yeah. joke. When, when, when you said geek, I thought you meant like that kind of stuff, like who knows yeah. more about like the past in golf and like... Okay, we'll, we'll do that kind of stuff as well. Then. Yeah, I'd, me for that stuff. Me for that stuff, definitely. But see if you ask Connor... He's he's probably more into some track man track, stuff. Yeah, than me. yeah, I would. Yeah, yeah. So, but the, like, I yeah. know more. But like, I'm right into like. Because like, I, watch, I like, yeah, I thought I was good I'll at that stuff. Shells one, shall watch shells one to the golf over and over and like. <laughs> he's so happy with it, and he's no like YouTube and stuff and like Wikipedia and all that. So, but I don't know for that for that stuff. Me, but for like numbers of like club head speed and like ball speed and like angle of attack and stuff, corner. Yeah. Yeah, I would say. And you look at you boys, like Connor, you're looking at all the time, every time you practice in the week, or to get to a Wednesday where you go, right, okay, I'm not looking at that kind of stuff now. I'm just going to get into playing mode. Yeah, like I think we, I do, I do my track man stuff either on a Tuesday or Wednesday. Like this year uh, on European Tour, I haven't played, I only played in one pro am. So like Wednesday would be my day for doing my numbers. Um, so to be honest, I actually don't really look at like any of my, I just go on ball fight at that point. I, I turn off attack angle, club path and all that on a Wednesday and I just do my numbers because, well, obviously if we've used a track man, it's it's like the best piece of equipment out there really, but like sometimes it can fry your head with stuff and if you're seeing a shot, yeah. perfect, but the numbers aren't exactly what you thought, it can more annoy you than actually, you know, yeah. help you. So, but obviously it's for the numbers, it's it's perfect. So I use it for, I use it for carry distances really and obviously when we're traveling week to week, the ball can definitely fly further in some places and, um, that's where it's so vital to have one. Um, obviously, it's a big investment, but for us to have one, it's like you just have to go to like a place like Switzerland, and all of a sudden the ball's going five, ten percent further. Is this a long story by any chance? Um, no, I was going to let you finish. Go on. <laughs> well, no, just because I just I wasn't just sure. Is it? Is that it? Is it? <laughs> no, no, no I'll, let you, I'll let you finish. I'll let you finish, mate. Um, no, so it's, so it's Switzerland. Yeah. Now go on. You were talking about Switzerland. I just asked him if it was long. I just wondering if it was a long story. No, mate, that's it. That's it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that works every Honestly. time. That works every time. Honest to God. <laughs> Who's the slowest on the golf course out of you two? This is annoying. You know why? Because I know exactly what. what. He's the slowest, but I've been <laughs> I've been fine for slow play. <laughs> So how can I be the slowest then? How can you be the slowest then? Because how can I be the slowest? I was playing with guys that were... I played with guys. Oh. Every guy, I mean, it's honestly it's endless. I've played with guys. I've played with many a guy. Connor, see you on many the greens. Many a guy I've played See you on the greens. Many on the guys. greens. I'm honestly prowling with that putter, oh, man. Have prowling. Have a deal. Tim, Tim, Tim. Read it from this line. Tim, this line. Tim, this line. You. Every single time. I'm just going to... While you're standing over there, I got the flag, chilled. Ready to go to the next. You and still reading it, and that's scandalous. Scandalous. <laughs> no, I mean, I must admit, you've sped up a lot. I used to be slower, but um, it used to be it used to be painful. But we're quite similar now. No, <laughs> I'm not good. <laughs> and uh, actually, funny that you brought up the greens. I mean, can we talk about that and how you could duly speed up that? I mean. I was actually cheering, obviously not normally, like, because he's my friend, um, not he's obviously playing against him, but I was actually celebrating his putts like that, yes, so I didn't have to watch him line up another one. That's how it was kind of going. <laughs> when I played one last. Uh, well. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Please miss the green because he was quite quick at chipping, so if he missed it just off his side, it'd be a quick return to the next, but oh my. I don't days. know, I don't know, I don't know. I don't know. It's a weird one, like. He's been he's been fine for slow play. I mean, uh, say no more. Say no more. Yeah, to the next. Slow play. All the way to the US amateur, I'm ready. 15 four, I'm like level par. I'm thinking it's not bad than the hard course. Did you more. miss the European arm for this tournament as well? Yeah, missed the European arm. There's a lot gone into this. There's a lot gone into this. Honestly, there's a lot gone into it. There's a lot gone into it. 
went out ever. early. Went out early. Brought brought the brother out. We're like ready to go. Two shot penalty. Slow play. I'm like. But the, but the funny thing is, I mean, he keeps talking about this, and he's, his, his, his excuse has been refined over the years so well that if you ask them now, it, what, it was totally his, it, the playing partner's fault. But all these guys were doing was timing individuals, so like, it didn't really matter what the other guys were doing. <laughs> it was just all on, all on you. So many gusts of wind over there. Have you ever been to Chicago? It was it Windy City, they call it, you know. It's, <laughs> it's tough game. Played there, and no shot penalties for me. No shot no penalties. penalties for me. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah. So, Week in, week out, and um, on the European tour, all the guys who watch this won't know, but they have a green book, don't they? Do you boys use that? Yeah, I use it, yeah. Sometimes. I use it all the time, because now that I've got to use it once, it's like, if I don't have it, I'm like, I wish I had it. Yeah, Sometimes yeah. I wish I didn't have it, but it's good just to have it in the back pocket, I think. Do you use it as a or is it like, I go to that straight away, or do you think, right, I'm going to read the put, and if I'm second-guessing myself, then I get the book out? Yeah, I use it for like shots into the green and stuff as well. Just like, oh, there's a big slope, there's a backstop there. Or don't want to miss it there, big steep downhill putt, you know, stuff like that. So not just for putting, but I use it a lot. I use it a lot. I, I, yeah, you do. Oh, yeah, you do. <laughs> <laughs> well, me, me and Tim are, we're, we, we scope that thing out to the max. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I, I, I use it, like, I think of it, it's got a lot harder to use. Like, see... A couple of years ago, it was like it was a lot bigger. It took up the whole page. You could just put the dot mm. there, and it would show everything. Whereas now, there's like there is a bit of a skill to using it. Even though, obviously, if you'd looked at it not using one before, you'd think some people would be really puzzled by it. And then other people, like once you start using it, because the the pin's got to be in exactly the right place, doesn't it? Yeah, like, or it's yeah, totally it's got to be perfect. It's got to be perfect. So, so you're still trying to work out the green. Yeah. Though. So about the guy who's, I mean, see the guy who's pacing out the pin's probably not caring that much, is he? He's probably just like one, two, three, yeah. up, five on, yeah. four from the right. You know. So it's got to be like perfect, perfect. Yeah. Sometimes it's great. It's, it's good. Sometimes it's really good. To see if you've got like forty foot putt, and you, it looks kind of straight. And you might not, and might at the end yeah. it just tells you it goes that way a wee bit. It just helps sometimes, but I mean, it's not the be on end though. It didn't. The book didn't help you get to where you are it so but it's just good for the odd wee the odd wee little thing like i said when, I, when when i've kind of when i used to carry for i used to carry for tom actually um uh, we used to use it a little bit but like you say if you don't put the pin in exactly the right spot it could literally be on a spine either way yeah, yeah. and then it's just like you feel bad for putting in the wrong space or is it the guy's not paced it right it's so true yeah, yeah. so true that's why it can be like sometimes can really i mean don't get i've, I've ripped a few up out there <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. Okay, number fourteen on our list. Um, we're talking trick shots. Who's got the most skills? I've never really been into trick shots. I can do the basic stuff, but I'm... same yeah, with you, I think. No, I'm I'm breadline stuff. Yoon's actually all right. Like he can, I think he can flick it up. And my caddy's got more skills than me. Yeah, and uh, yeah, I, I can do. I, I've got them probably in trick shot stuff with like flick, keeping on the club. But honestly, like, I've, we're not. We've never been like practitioners of that. I'm not into that that much. Doesn't yeah. do much for me. Back in so that back in South Africa, when I was obviously copying you's um practice regime, he said to me, like, we've got no time for trick shots. So since then obviously I've just I've just been there. I've told them we've got no time for that stuff. So ever since then it's just been it's been all go. They sat me down and that was it. So we both don't know them and that's why. <laughs> we both but honestly, we both never really do it. Like some people do it all I see you guys doing it all the time. I'm just like, it doesn't look that fun for me. I'd rather just like, some of them, some of them, I wish I could do, but some just, some people do it that much. It looks, it looks so good. It takes a grind, a grind to win it to learn. Yeah, them I, I, done, I done a team tailor made like bounce challenge there, like trying to keep it. Don't know if you've seen it, and like John Ram and stuff like that. We're on and doing all sorts of stuff, and I was just like, <laughs> just yeah, I know she got. I got. I know she got nominated for a few things and didn't come back to them on the on some of the trick shot stuff. Like yeah, trick shot stuff. I'm like, mm, not for me. Not for you. Avoid that. Avoid that. No, okay. both, both terrible. Both terrible. Yeah. Last question, guys. Last question. Uh, who's the most intelligent golfer? Me. I don't know. It changes, eh? You and, it does. Yeah. Like, how many times have we been back to the room and you went, I went for that there and, like... You can't and, believe that I hit it in the water and all that. And I'm like, I didn't. I hit it up there. I laid up with Birdie. So when your notes were all coming in, you were like, got, and then I saw like, a snap pack. He, he was basically, his thing was to copy my, like how I did my notes and stuff like that. And that's basically <laughs> it. So like, I, I'm, I'm, I've just got it all like 
mapped out and I try and work out the course more before. So I think it comes to that, you and um, no, like Q school a couple of years ago, like going for the green at that 16th hole, like in the bush and then in the bush the next day as well or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I wouldn't be doing that sort of stuff. I know that. For, uh, thanks, that. That. thanks for that. Thanks for that. I forgot about that as well. I forgot yeah. about that. <laughs> so, no, I, I mean, where, it, where else can I think? I, think? I definitely think he maps out the course more than me. But, like, I do obviously do it, but he maps out more than me. But, like, when it comes to, like, I feel like I'm quite smart, eh? I feel like I play quite a smart game. Nah, boy. Nah, man. I had to drive everywhere, but I mean, still. <laughs> yeah, no, um, to be fair, we both had driver a lot. We both so had driver really everywhere. Like, but it's, it's just like sometimes, really like... sometimes when it comes to like going through it and stuff like that. And remember that time in Belgium, you skimmed your five wood into the water right in front of you. <laughs> Come on, <laughs> that, that wasn't was anything. That was not anything to do with. That was lack of ability at that time. <laughs> I was up the right, chipping it up and down for birdie. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, but, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I was, not, I was not in a good way that week. I was not in a good way. <laughs> Fatigue, some would say. <laughs> Too many weeks in a row, eh? That's what some people would say. Too many weeks in a row, eh? But, yeah. but I've got one question for you that um, I didn't ask you, I didn't put on the list before we went on. Uh, give us your best story that you two have had that you could tell us. Keep it PC. Um, that you could tell us from tour. Um... Uh... Yeah, see, you and I was actually thinking about this the other day because, like, see if any if we we're going to do them like tour tales or something. Because I think there must be something funny. Like, yeah, no. And I, and I think back in the, all these weeks that I've been so like all this funny stuff has happened, but I can't think. I couldn't. Uh, one, yeah, one out. or like something that's like good, good story or something like that. Uh, yeah. Do we, I don't really know actually. I don't actually know. Sorry, I like down here. Because like, that Tom Murray one was funny. That that, yeah, that, that, Tom, man, that was decent. Yeah, um, that Tom Murray one was funny. But, but I mean, there's, um, there's so much stuff that we can't, can't so even probably much. say, like, as well. Yeah. <laughs> there's so much yeah. stuff that I don't know. I mean, uh, come I on, think of something, Bo. Bo, you, you must have something on, on you. you. Can't leave me on air like this. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Remember that time in Kenya? Like, we were just chilling, having dinner, just us two, and Sean Cocker walked up and was like, All right, Connor, all right, you, Bo. Absolutely smacked <laughs> me so hard. Remember? I was actually like, yeah. What the hell? That wasn't right. Silent. That was right. I'm silent. I'm I'm talking talk to silent for the full dinner, seething, seething. I'm like Crocker, Crocker, Crocker. <laughs> <laughs> but I've got I've got so many stories, but like maybe some you couldn't see on here. I don't know. But um, just no, I can't think. Yeah. Um... Right, okay, boys. If you can't think of a story, no. what are you guys doing at the moment to keep yourself fresh? When we get back going, what are you doing to keep yourself fresh at the moment? I um doing a lot of running. Uh, I really, I've actually really got into it. Like everyone always, always, everyone always says, like, see if you get by like the first week of running, you start getting really looking forward to it. I feel like I'm at that stage now. Like, um, my girlfriend has to run, so she's like, have, like, still like doing like training and stuff. I'm just like joining up, like, I just going, all right, I'll do it as well. Now I'm like right into it. So, say um, say I'm doing a lot of running. What about you, Connor? Well, we, me and Alanis have been in the gym every morning, really. Been doing stuff for the last week, but not... In the gym? Uh, I hope there's a home gym. Oh, it's a home gym, my friend. Oh, hope so. Jeez. So we've just been... It's just a little home we set up that we've got, and it's not much, but it's 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 something. And then I've what got time a you, what, about, time been, what time have you been waking up at? Uh, I, I've been trying really hard to get up at nine. That's how I've been kind of, kind of been going. Oh. Morning, Jim. I was expecting you to come out like seven o'clock or something there. Nah, <laughs> nine o'clock, and then it's not been good. Like it's weird because I mean, normally I'm up, I'm Alanis has got work and she's up at like seven, and then um, I'd be I'd just be up at that time anyway. But mm. I know that Yoon's definitely not. If if it starts with one number, I'd be impressed for you both. Mm. But um, mine. <laughs> Like so, I, just, I think I've been. It's been hard because there's nothing to really get up for. So like, it doesn't. Yeah, just, it's like, tough to get up. You know what? See, waking up early, I feel like the day takes so long. Eh? Yeah, I know. You're doing yeah. nothing anyway. So like, I'm happy to wake up twelve o'clock. Happy. I'm waking up twelve <laughs> o'clock, and I'm. You know what? I'm happy. Sometimes I get texts from Marka and my dad and all that, and like my brother's still working at like nine and stuff. Texts me like, "What are you up to?" My brother starts worrying about me. You boy, wait. You know what my brother's like, Connor. When are yeah. you, you up to and stuff? And I'm just like, wait, no, just like waiting up to. I'm just like, oh, I'm just awake. 
<laughs> and then, <laughs> but I can't help it. Like, I'm on that Disney Plus until like 4 a.m. watching all sorts of Disney classics. Love it. Yeah. So I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna lie and say nine like Connor when I know it's not nine. Connor. No, no, it's it's nine. Um, don't don't get me wrong. It's hard. It's hard. But that's the thing I've been trying to get up at. I've been waiting up midday, and I'm not sorry. Look at this face. Doesn't I'm just trying to get into the fact that you're watching Disney Plus, if I'm honest. It's so good, so good. What, what did I watch today? Pete's Dragon. But well, there's Nat Geo so on that as well, you were telling me. Nat Geo Wild is so good. I watch every animal program, snakes, crocodiles, sharks. Connor, don't I? Yeah, you love it all, mate. I watch it all. And then I like I monkeys, chimpanzees and stuff like that. It's just, watch it for hours and it's just so good. It's, honestly, it's so good. All right, boys. Thank you very much for your time uh, this evening. Appreciate you coming on. No, cheers, Alex. Um, I'll see you soon. And Connor, I'll chat to you soon, my friend. Yes. Goodbye. Cheers, boys. Thank you for um, watching tonight's show, guys. Um, I'll leave Connor's and Ewan's handles down below to go and check them out. Uh, and we wish you guys the best of luck for this season. Hopefully, when it gets started yeah. soon. Yeah. Cheers, Thanks, mate. Alex. Cheers, Good man. Cheers, mate. Thanks.